Lights and Napkins. We're here to talk about Fuse Concept Mobile um, um, prototype that we've done in conjunction with uh, Immersion, TAT, Alloy, and Texas Instruments. And what we're showing here at Mobile World Congress is the UI implementation that features all the sensing technologies that we showcased at CES. So just to remind you know, all your viewers, we had sites of scrolling sensing on the side here. We also have um, squeeze sensing uh, done with force sensors, as well as a touchpad on the back of the device, in addition to our multi-touch sensing uh, on the touch screen. So one of the ways that um, the sensors you know, can enhance the user experience is by allowing the user to navigate with one hand the back of the uh, sensor, um, and the user interface you know, uh, tracks your finger you know, with the 3D graphics and uh, lighting effects you know, that, that can be rendered with the OpenGLS graphics. The squeeze sensor can implement a ratcheted scrolling to enable you to um, scroll the device you know, as um, you tilt the device as well. And then, turning on the, um, the dialer, you can also feel the haptics you know, provide the visual cues as you move your fingers across the back you know, and select the keys. Finally, um, with the advanced media graphics, you can also get um, additional you know, functionality to your widgets by being able to turn those widgets over and adding twice the amount of information that a normal 2D widget would often uh, offer. So let me just show you the scrolling again. So this is just a tech demo. This isn't something you guys are going to launch anytime soon, right? right? So all these technologies, you know, are widely available, um, you know, from our partners today. And you know, what we're looking at is engaging with our OEM handset manufacturer customers uh, to really showcase, you know, some of these new interaction concepts that we believe you know, will help augment uh, the touchscreen experience to make mobile phones uh, much more usable in a mobile setting all over again. So that's been one of the biggest complaints uh, and challenges that we've identified with um, the new generation of touchscreen-based handsets which obviously you know, we're more than happy to see you know, out on the market. However, you know, as leaders in this field, Synaptics you know, feels that it's, uh, it's our responsibility to also investigate you know, how to improve you know, the usability and the interaction of these designs. Because after all, you know, we're also customers uh, and end users as well of these you know, handsets. So optimistically speaking, it's um, typically um, you know, within the next design cycle, so um, anywhere from about six to another 12 months, you know, start seeing some of these technologies make it into handsets uh, that you know, are um, available on the market.